Welcome to Nursing School Explain in this video on how to assess a pedal pulse that's also called the dorsalis pedis pulse in anatomical terms. So if we look at the patient's foot, most people's anatomy is the same, but the pulse might be located in a slightly different position. So the best way to go about this is to look at the foot itself and then find this bony protuberance here that's in line with the first metatarso. Many times you will find the pulse somewhere right up here. Most likely you're not going to find it right above the metatarsals or really close to the ankle up here. So it's going to be somewhere in this general window area. So I like to start out by this protuberance right here and always line your fingers up along the artery, not the fingers next to him because otherwise you might only get a tip of each finger. So then you just start palpating and if you don't find it right away, it's okay to move your fingers to a slightly different location and see if you can find it there. Remember to be patient, also know what your patient's heart rate is. If it's a little bit on the slow side, it might take a little bit longer to find it. So in this case here, I found my patient's pedal pulse. I note the strength and the amplitude, which means the, the force of contraction that I feel underneath there. And I just slightly hold my fingers on top of it. And then I count for 15 seconds multiplied by four or count for 30 seconds and multiply by two to get my beats per minute. Now it's always a good idea to compare the patient's left and right sides. So it's nice to come up here and also, could you put your foot over just a little bit more? And find both pedal pulses here at the same time. I already know where I found this one. Find the one on his left. And now I found both and I will go ahead and compare the two in terms of the amplitude and the rate, which should be the same given if there are no circulatory issues. And when I compare, I can just go ahead and compare for a few seconds and then chart my findings according to what I found. Thanks for watching this video on how to assess a pedal pulse. Also check out the other videos about the other pulse sites assessment. Thanks for watching.